What's up YouTube? This is John here from Cars and Cameras and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the sprocket on your go-kart. Now this will apply to uh, most go-karts but particularly these um, with the offset frame that are designed for oval racing. You're going to need six things. Uh, obviously the first one you're going to need a go-kart. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a, another sprocket to put on the go-kart, a 7 16th uh, inch wrench, and a quarter inch hex key, and another chain. To remove the chain, you're going to need to uh, first remove the clip that holds the chain together, and in my case, it's on the left side. Okay, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that very well but you're gonna take your screwdriver and just kind of push it forwards. All right, and it's a little clip like that first. And then this piece should come out. I need to, I need to oil the chain if you couldn't already tell. The chain link, I guess you want to call it, that holds it together consists of three pieces. This little clip, which likes to fly all over the place when you're taking it off, uh, that, and then that. Okay, now that the chain is off, you're going to need to remove your sprocket guard, if you have one. Mine is pretty beat up. Uh, if you can see that, because I ride it through the yard a lot and I hit bumps and roots and all those things. So I'm going to take that off using my 7 16th uh, inch wrench. So there are six nuts that need to come off. And it usually helps if you can get a friend to hold the brake so the rear, the rear axle, axle doesn't spin around as you're taking these off but it's not, it's not hard to do without, without it. Okay, and once the sprocket guard is off, you can take off the sprocket. So I just took off this 69 tooth sprocket in favor for this 58 tooth one, uh, because right now, I want speed over acceleration, and as you can see, there's a pretty, pretty visible difference here. Here's the 58, here's the 69. So to put this smaller sprocket back on, we just put it on, by, you know, just like we took the other one off. And because we have a smaller sprocket, uh, our chain is going to be too long because it's used to having to go around a, a bigger circumference, a bigger sprocket. So what we're going to do is put a different chain on there entirely, a smaller one, and we're probably going to have to adjust the engine, move it forwards or backwards using this quarter inch hex key. Okay, there's usually some kind of indicator uh, that tells us which half of the sprocket goes with the other half. In this case, it's, uh, I'm guessing it's the brand name but one half of it is on this half of the sprocket and then the other half is on this half. Now, I don't know if it would be a big deal or not if you put, you know, one half upside down and the other half correctly, you know, right side up. I don't know if anything bad would happen, but I mean, it, it just, I don't want to take the chance. Now you take your shorter chain and wrap it around the clutch and sprocket and then attach it using those clips, the same clips, and then adjust the engine uh, to the point uh, where this is tight. So this little clip can be a real pain to put on. Um, and I know there's a correct way to put it on, but I put it on with the closed end pointing forwards. Now, I'm not responsible uh, for any harm you may cause yourself or others while trying to do this. This is just how I do it and it's worked for me. So you put the first half on like that, 
Then you grab your screwdriver and push on it. Ow, until it goes. And there it looks like that went. So the chain is now on, but it's pretty loose. So we're gonna need to adjust the engine position using this hex key and some bolts underneath the engine. And because the chain is a little bit loose, we're gonna need to push the engine forwards to tighten up this chain. So underneath the engine, you're gonna see four hex bolts. Well, I only have three, but uh, it'll be fine. So once you've loosened them, get a rubber mallet, or I guess you could even use your hand, and then just tap on the engine holder, pushing it forwards. So you're gonna wanna tap on the engine holder, and I say tap because uh, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna break anything. Uh, and like I said, use a rubber mallet, or you could use uh, a hammer, but be very, very light, because this is aluminum and it could break, and this engine is from China, and it could also break probably very easily. So you're gonna tap on it until the chain gets taut. Not tight, but also not loose. Uh, it's a sweet spot. So once the chain is tightened, go ahead and tighten up on these hex bolts again. And I'm going the wrong way. You're gonna wanna get these hex bolts pretty tight because you don't want the engine shifting back while you're riding around and you know, which will loosen your chain. So once you've tightened the chain, put the sprocket holder back on, or the sprocket protector. I'm also going to straighten mine out because, like I said, it gets beat up in the yard. We are putting the 7 16th nuts back on uh, with the sprocket protector. And you're gonna wanna get these Pretty tight again, uh, definitely not as tight as the, um, the hex bolts underneath the engine, but pretty tight. You wouldn't want these falling off. All right, so now the sprocket protector is back on and we should be good to go. Uh, you might need to oil up your chain if it seems to be kind of clumping up in areas like this one, this one was bad. Um, but when you oil it, watch out because if you're sitting in this chair, well, there's oil on the chain, you're gonna ruin your pants, all your clothes. So, thanks for watching, uh, I hope this helped. And it probably this probably won't be the same on every single go-kart, but it should help you with the general idea of changing a sprocket. So, please subscribe, like Cars and Cameras on Facebook, please. Uh, like this video, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching, and remember to keep it rubber side down and between the ditches. Oh, and also, if you can guess what kind of car is behind me, you'll get 10 internet points and a gold star. All right, thanks, bye.